This question has an information statement to start the question and to set the context. And by reading this carefully, you can understand the question is about a pudding called bread and butter pudding. It would be helpful if you'd made this pudding yourself so you'd be able to retrieve knowledge gained in the class. But even if you've not made the pudding, you are given some information to help you. The ingredients and how the pudding is made. This is a question divided into two parts. Always read the question carefully so that you do not repeat the same answer in two parts of a question. One part has two marks and the other has four. Take your time to read the whole of the text so that you do not miss any clues which might help you give a better answer. Now look at exactly what the question is asking. What are the command words? It's a clear command. State two changes that must relate to observations of the cooked pudding. How has the cooking changed the raw pudding? What two things would you see? Your answer might be the pudding will have set and not be runny anymore and the top may have browned and look golden. The second part of the question is asking for more. The command word is explain. This is a very frequent command word in written exams. You'll have a little bit more space to write your answer and need now to explain the two things that you saw in the cooked pudding. Things that indicated to you that the pudding was cooked, one being it was set, not runny, and two being that the colour had changed to golden brown. You can see that there are four marks, so try and think of four points, two for each of the things you already mentioned. Look at those command words again. Explain how and why, and look back at what you said. Firstly, you said the mixture set. How and why would that happen? And secondly, you said the pudding would become golden brown. How and why would that happen? When you get a question asking you to explain, think about using the word because. It will support your thinking and focus your answers. In this case, because the egg proteins in the custard will coagulate when heated, the pudding will set during baking. And for the second part, because sugar is caramelised when heated, the custard containing sugar will turn golden brown on baking. Remember to reread your answer and check it. A top tip reminder in this question was to revise key food science terms. Examiners may be looking for the term coagulate to explain the way the pudding would set and the term caramelise to explain browning. If you use both these terms correctly, you'll get full marks. Good luck with your revision.